Today we're going to check out how to make this wavy text pattern here in Illustrator. Okay, step one, click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke so it's going to be on the top, select this line, press and hold shift, create a line like this. Let's go to effects, distort and transform, select zigzag, we're going to go to smooth and decrease the ridges per segment to zero. You also can increase the size a little bit more, click OK, go to object, expand appearance. From here, I got to go to the reflect, select the reflect tool, press and hold out, click on here. Select the horizontal, click on copy. I'm also going to adjust this a little bit more better. Select the pen tool, connect them here and here. And you also can go here and click on join. Now let's go and select the reflect tool again. Press and hold alt, click here at the center point. This time select vertical, click on copy, select both and go to the pathfinder here and click on unite. From here, let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want, press shift plus alt, scale it up. By the way, I went with a mango grotesque extra bold. Let's go ahead and right click on the text, create outlines and make sure the text is on the bottom. So right click, let's go to arrange and send to back. Let's select both elements, go to object, select envelope distort and go to make with top object. Let's go to object, expand, click OK. Now, not in every situation the text is going to look good. For example, the letter N looks really funky in here. So I'm going to select the erase tool and I'm going to press and hold alt and I'm going to go here at this corner. Basically, I'm going to create a line like this and, it, and it's going to erase that part. I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select the center point, press on delete, delete again. Now from here, I'm going to create a new copy, press and hold alt and drag it here somewhere at this point. And basically with this, we're going to create that pattern. But before that, we're going to need to test out if this is going to work pretty much seamlessly. So I'm going to create a new copy, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press and hold shift. So it's going to end somewhere here maybe. So this way we're going to need to move the bottom text a little bit to the something like this more on the right. There you go. So I'm going to delete these two. I'm going to select the top one, recolor, recolor the bottom one as well. Select both, right click, click on group. And from here, we're going to go to the object. Let's go to pattern, click on make. And here you can see the width and the height. So we're going to need to decrease the width until the text is going to be really close next to each other. And the height, we're going to decrease that as well. There you go. And from here, let's go up at the top left corner and click on done here. Now I can delete this, select the rectangle. And you can go here at the swatches and here you can see the new pattern that we got. Select it, make sure that the fill is on the top and just create the pattern. And it looks something like this. Thanks for watching. Thank you